from Morty and Fantina to Agatha, Phoebe, Chantal, and Ace Arola. The ghostly presence of the Pokemon world has been felt around us. What's going on, Chaotix? I'm ChaosMay006, and today we will be going over my ghost-type gym. Hopefully you won't get too terrified as I am continuing my Pokemon gym series with the spookiest of all Pokemon types. The ghost type. Sit back and relax if you can, as we take a look at my ghost type gym. This gym would be around the third or the fourth in the region, but I'd lean more towards the fourth. It would be in a haunted asylum-like building that something definitely is up in. It definitely has some ghosts and some vengeful spirits inside. I would imagine it to look something like Outlast if you have played that game. This gym would serve as a true test for trainers' will to get through what would be a pretty terrifying experience. Each floor will have a different puzzle to solve. The first floor would be pretty simple, as it's just to reach the staircase and move up the floor with a few obstacles in the way. Level 2 would have you running around on broken floors that look similar to Sky Pillar from the Hoenn games. Failing to get across these tiles fast enough will make you fall to the first floor. Now on the third level you will have to complete the same thing as level 2, but the ghost will appear like that from Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Of course there will be a side quest in the story that you can get a silph scope from an NPC or just by completing the quest. And these ghost type Pokemon actually will be taking over the place of the vengeful ghosty spirits. Some of the Pokemon would be Shuppet and Pumpkaboo and Phantop and Sandy Ghast. Now on the third floor there also would be an elevator that will be a transport to the basement. And you will have to find an elevator key on one of the floors to be able to use it. Gym trainers will be placed in likely spots that you would fall or you would fail to reach the next safe spot on the floor. And so you would have to battle them. They will all be on the first floor, except for one that will be just in front of the elevator so that you have a chance to fail to reach the elevator on the third floor. Each of the gym trainers will have it some combination of Shuppet, Pumpkaboo, Phantop, and Sanigast. And each of the three gym trainers will have a form of Rotom, such as Rotom Heat, Rotom Mo, or Rotom Wash. Once you enter the elevator, you will plummet to the basement, crashing so you cannot go back. Your only option is to go into the dimly lit room while you have me sitting in a chair. Why can no one ever leave me alone? I yell from my position. Looks like I have to teach you a lesson. And then the battle begins. I will lead with a Phantop at level 31. It has the harvest ability and will carry a citrus berry so it can stall you out. For its moves, it knows Will-O-Wisp, Leech Seed, Hex, and Grass Knot. This Phantop will be a modest-natured Phantop, boosting special attack in favor of attack, so that way it can be more useful with this moveset. After you defeat Phantop, I will send in one of two Pokemon. Most likely, I will follow up with a Rotom at level 32 that knows Thunder Wave, Hex, Ominous Wind, and Shockwave. Of course, its ability is Levitate. The other Pokemon I could send in is a Rotom Frost at level 32, which I will sometimes interchange with the Rotom in the second slot depending on which one of them has a better type matchup versus your team. Rotom Frost knows Blizzard, Thunder Wave, Hex, and Shockwave. And finally, I will close with a level 34 Vanette. And yes, I know that Shuppet evolves at level 37, but I needed Vanette here so I would have a decent gym. Vanette will know Will-O-Wisp, Hex, Dazzling Gleam, and Hidden Power Fire to deal with any Bug-type Pokemon you may have brought to deal with my Ghost types. It also will have Cursed Body to try to disable your moves. It will also be a modest nature to boost its special attack. After you defeat me, you will see a spirit leave my body. Where, where am I, I will ask. Oh, you've beat me in a batch? Thanks. Here, have my gym badge. My gym badge resembles something of a haunter, and I will give you TM101, which is Hex. Somehow, the elevator will now be working and you can continue back to the first floor to leave the building. As for me, not much is known except that I have a love for ghost-type Pokemon and I have spent so long in this gym that I am practically one of the spirits here. 
If you were to rematch me in the future of this game, my team would be the same as the original team, but have evolutions of the original team. So I would have Pokemon like Trevenant, Rotom, Rotom Frost, and Banet that also can Mega Evolve. And also I would add to the squad Gorgeist and Palosan. Now these Pokemon follow a theme, and I wonder if you have figured it out yet. The theme for this Pokemon Gym is Possession. All of these Pokemon have Pokédex entries where they have possessed something to become a Pokemon. Or in the case of Rodom, it possesses objects to change its form. And even when you finished the gym battle versus me, I had a spirit leave my body because I was possessed. Now Hex makes sense for the TM here since hexing someone gives you control over them. Well that's all I have for my ghost type gym. Let me know what your gym would look like in the comments section down below. I personally feel that the ghost type gym has provided the hardest challenge in creating a unique net gym so far in this series, but I really enjoyed this challenge. Speaking of enjoyment, if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss my next My Gym video, and you can keep up to date on the other series that are currently going on on the channel. This video again was inspired by Bird Keeper Toby, and I have linked his ghost type gym on the screen if you want to check it out. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Discord, Twitch, which are all linked in the description down below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, my name is ChaosMay006 and I am signing off. Stay safe and burn it up.